Hello, here's a short video about how to make a small sketchbook. Here it is. A fold-out sketchbook with 15 pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when you open it out, more pages in there. This sketchbook can be decorated, maybe with your initial and a jolly picture of a cat or something. So this is very easy. You will need, it's quite nice to have some colored paper, a piece of sugar paper like that, just a sheet of A4 ordinary paper. Start by folding the A4 paper in half and in quarter and once more into eighths. You might need a bit of hand with that. And once it's folded, open it out again and find the line that's I've got it along the way and there is a line that I folded from here to here. A little bit of re-creasing and then again you might need a bit of a hand if you're worried about the sharp knife but if you can push the knife through there so that you can make a cut along the middle of that line. Do you see that? There's the whole page and it's there and it's of course so that you can then push those bits of those pages in different directions. Now whenever I do this they never quite line up but that has the charm of a homemade book. And there are the pages one, two, three, four, all the way through. You lose the back page because that's how we glue it onto the cover. The cover, quite nice to have a piece of sugar paper or it could be anything really. It's nice if it's slightly thicker. I've cut that in half. So it's half of A4. Folded it, that's now my cover. And if I get some glue, and put it on the back page. So work that out before you do, you actually put glue on. There's the back page. Put a bit of glue around there. And then I find if you fold the cover over a bit like that, then you can see where you're going to put it right up to the, the spine of your book. Oops, then press it into place. And that's your sketchbook. So pages one, two, and so on. Then it's nice to decorate it with something. So perhaps you could put your initial. If you have a piece of old wrapping paper, when you do this drawing on the back, remember to do it backwards, because when you cut it out, it's going to be the reverse. So I drew on there, and all I have to do is cut it out. This makes boring video, so stop that. And here it is, already cut out. A little bit of glue on the back. Probably shouldn't be gluing this on the cover in case I get glue in the wrong place. But there, nice sparkly letter for my name. I did the same thing with the cat. I drew it on the back of another piece of wrapping paper. Cut it out, and that's my cat. So I'm going to glue it on there. Perhaps that's because I'm planning to draw cats in my sketchbook. 
So it's a very easy sketchbook to make. It has 15 pages. The other thing you can do when you, be, you do these cutouts, don't throw away the other bits. We trim that slightly. We could put that on the back. Then you get two, two pieces of work out of all that effort. So that's maybe the back of my sketchbook. I managed to cut that as one piece, but if you don't, you can still glue it on. There we go, this is the back of my sketchbook, there's the front of my sketchbook, and I challenge you to do 15 different drawings. So make each drawing different from the next. So if you did want to do a cat sketchbook, you could go and find your cat or look at some pictures of cats. Maybe I'll do a, a cat here with some ink, my ink pen. sitting with its tail up, waiting for its dinner. So that's a rather a rough looking cat. And then on the next page, maybe I should turn it this way and try something else, try a different medium, could do some pencil, and then I'll fill my whole cat sketchbook with different sorts of cats. There you go, good luck. I hope you get lots of good drawings and that you're inspired to make perhaps several different sketchbooks.